Hello guys and welcome to the next educational series. Uh, if you can cut these and these, that would be great. But the ones on the right are more important. Uh, hello guys and welcome to the next educational series. I've already done a Dr. Repulsor as you guys are aware of. However, it wasn't the uh, the longest game ever. It was actually very short. And I wanted to do like a part two of a Dr. Repulsor educational. But I figured that why not make a jungle doctor because a lot of people in NAEU are not really aware of that this actually works. But it's very, very popular in Thailand, so I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. What's that, Elu? Ah, you have to go back to the boss, you know? I'm going to miss the man. I'm texting you. Um, Alright, so we're going to be buying our bottle here. Uh, Sorry. So, uh, yeah, what was I? What I wanted to say, guys, is um, uh, I am not one of the best jungle uh, doctors in the world. I'm not even probably top 20, but I did, uh, I did start doing this about half a year ago and have been doing it since. And uh, since then, I've been doing tons of research. Well, actually, the first, the first and second month was mostly research. I looked into a lot of uh, Dr. Repulsor jungle players. I asked Canon Pine... Uh, from D-Dog, what he, what, what his suggestions, what like were, sorry, uh, what players should I look into, and uh, if you had any tips and stuff like that, and then I started doing it. I also looked at Bad Bad from D-Dog, who plays Doctor Doctor Jungle. But yeah, point being, I did a lot of research, and uh, then I started playing it myself, and since then I've been doing a pretty good job of it, and I've been playing it ever since. Now, I was lucky enough this game to have someone that can cut down all of these trees. Normally, you don't. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you're lucky with Wild Hunters. Sometimes you're not. However, the rotation actually does remain the same. You do still want to do the exact same uh, rotation, which is that you want to be killing the medium camp here, or if you're Legion Helborn, you want to be killing it here, and then you want to be going towards the stacking of both the easy and the hard camp. Now, the difference between Helborn and Legion is that you can't really do shit when you're uh, when you're Legion. Like you actually have to uh, do what I just did: halfway kill it and then go towards the easy and hard camp because. You don't have enough damage, like, because of the way the, uh, the the lane is set up and because of the way the jungle is set up, you're not able to just walk from here into stacking both of the camps, you actually have to go all the way. So, Hellborn is actually a little bit better than Legion, unless you're lucky enough to have a Midas who can cut down your trees. So, sadly, that kind of sucks for us, but hey, what to do. Anyway, we do end up getting the second worst camp after Wild Hunters, which is the Antlor Healers. And now I have two choices here. I can go here and kill the medium, stack the hard camp and go back to base, or I can go here and kill the medium, uh, and then go uh, <coughs> and then go to the hard camp and then go for the rune. And I haven't really decided what I want to do yet. Let's see here. Uh, we are up against a Moira Pebble Smith double lane. What the hell? And then we have a... We'll see what Mora decides to do. If she goes for bottom run, we'll leave it and go back to base. Now, something to note about uh, Dr. Jungle is that it's not like other junglers. You can actually go back to base without hurting yourself. And sometimes it's actually the correct choice of just walking back to base and then walking back to the jungle. It's actually quite a decent choice most of the time. So we'll see here what we decide to do. He is walking towards the bottom run. Okay, so we're going to kill the East Camp here and then go back to, and then go back to region and pick up our boots. Now, in the other Dr. Repulsor Educational, I talk about the only um, the only um, boots being correct is Steam Boots, which is true, but when you're Dr. Jungling, you actually want to pick up Striders. And you want to pick up Striders because you want to be able to go back to base faster, you want to be able to have that extra bit of region when you're out of combat, and you want to be able to move between runes and camps a little bit faster. So Striders is actually the boost that we are going to be picking up here, and uh, that should be helping us helping us out quite a bit. Now, the most important thing about Dr. Jungle is stacking. Like, stacking is everything. Stacking is key. If you can stack the hard... No, actually, never mind. Kill the pole. If, uh, stacking is everything. Like, I might look... Right now, I'm 200 GPM. I'm level 3 by 3 minutes. And it might look really bad. But trust me, I'll be level 6 before 6 minutes. And that's really all you need. Like, the timer of this hero is... Get, get level 6 by around 6 minutes. And that's fine. Like, you don't have to get it faster than that. And... If you get a lot of wild hunters and shit like that, some games you will actually not have okay, really level six until six minutes, and that's totally fine. That's my point here. Some like it's it, it's totally fine to have a late level six as a doctor repulsor. Oop. So uh, yeah, don't don't worry about that if uh, you're a little bit worried that you're not hitting it fast enough. Like it's absolutely no no problem whatsoever. And we're actually gonna walk back to base here once again. After we kill the easy camp here, you really, really don't want to kill single stacks. Like you don't. Like the the, the key to this hero 
as I said, is stacking, which means that you don't actually want to kill easy st like a single stacks. But if you have to, then you know it's understandable, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. So I could double stack the ones on the right here, or I could stack the medium. I'm gonna go with the medium here actually, and send out my striders and go for the bottom. And hopefully, I'm allowed to take this bottom in here because Pebbles did send an illusion bottom, and might uh, kill it. We'll see. All right, no, oh, he will not. So I'm level four by four minutes, and uh, that's actually totally fine. Two six I'm GPM. I'm gonna region up here, damage this camp here, and then go back to base again. And we're getting, we're gonna get really close to level six here. Uh, you, like the prop, the reason why this camp is one of the worst is because you can't kite them. Like you can kite on other camps, and kiting is of course key to a hero like Doctor Repulsor, where you're not able to just stand up and man up and fight it like a legionnaire. Now, uh, before I continue, I want to first off say that if you haven't checked out the uh, application Gas Mobile yet, you should do so. Uh, if you're from Thailand, one of my Thai fans or viewers, you should check it out. Uh, you can spin on sort of a Plinko wheel on the application uh, every 8 hours, if I'm not wrong, win coins and avatars and shit like that. And I will also have some exclusive content there in the future. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool app. What's your favorite games? But we care about Han, of course. Uh, regardless, let's go back into the game. And another thing I wanted to say before I continue is that... Oh, fucking Skeleton Kings. Not Skeleton Kings. Um, wait, what was I going to say, actually? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Damn it. Anyway, so smoke is one of the best items, or sorry, Veiled Rod is one of the best items in this hero because when you're like when you're playing him, well, he's good in when you're playing him mid too. But when you're jungling, you have to keep in mind that you are never showing on the minimap basically. So you're showing when you pick up runes, and that me that might be it. So when you're playing this hero, oh, can I get a kill here with one new level six? I can come, I can come. Can we kill this too? No. Uh, so. Uh, you should use that as a key factor because as soon as you get level 6, people are going to get scared. They're going to be thinking, where is Dr. Repulsor? I gotta be a little bit afraid. And that's the one of the best things about Dr. Jungle because they will never actually know where you are on the map. And you should use that as an advantage. Always have Veil Drought available, always have TP, and as soon as you get 6, people are going to be afraid. And that's your time to shine, that's your time to get kills and just roam around. And we got an Invis here, so I want to be killing top if possible. It is a Mage Bane, probably not going to be possible. Um, I think it's better to just farm out to stack, go medium, and then go back to base, and then port somewhere. And we're going to be working here towards our uh, ring of sorcery here. Let's get our ward. That kind of sucks. I kind of don't want to use the invis here, so if I can just kill this medium camp here in two Qs, that would be great. But sadly, we cannot. Because that's not how damage works in this game. Almost, though. We're just going to actually slow kill this. There we go. We are now 100 gold away, 100 gold, 150 gold away from our resource here. Can you stack this, please? But once again, I'm going to make sure that I'm stacking on my way home because, as you can see now, I'm level 7, 300 GPM by 7 minutes, which is decent enough. I said stack, not kill it, but that's great, bro. <laughs> so we're going to stack once again, really, really important, and we're going to pick up our ring of sorcery here in a second. I'm going to keep him in with an invis, but you're not, you don't really have mana. Okay, so we can't kill top, we can't kill mid. Am I actually going to have to go back to the hard camp? I might actually have to go back to the hard camp. By now, I want, I want to have been involved in a kill. I would like to have been uh, had some kind of impact already, but if I'm not able to, then of course I'm not able to. And I really don't see a, a situation here in this game so far where I could have had or done a lot. So we're just going to go back to the hard camp here. Be ready to use our invis for the mid lane. <clears throat> but yeah, the rotation in the early game is quite simple. As I explained, um, you want to be going for the medium camp on both sides and then stacking easy and hard camp and just keep up the stacks and kill whatever and kite as much as possible and... Are you serious? Invisibility. Fucking idiot. Oh, getting griefed. Yeah, go fuck yourself. That was intentional. Then you fucking ask for it. Oh, I hate those players. Okay, let's get Merrick. <sighs> That's all you need. You're like, getting... what the hell hey, is this guy doing? I'm sorry, guys. It's currently 3:30 in the morning, and I haven't. Yeah, it's 3:30 in the morning. I'm very tired, and I'm just not. Uh, I just, yeah. It was a little bit. Um, I shouldn't really. Yeah, and you guys know I'm really, I'm really hard to get mad, but 
<coughs> a man without sleep, man. Might be hard. Anyway, so uh, we picked up, as I said, I did do a lot of research on Thai players and uh, their way of playing Dr. Repulsa Jungle. And I, that's where I noticed that two points of E is something they all do, which was very interesting to me because I really feel like you only want one point and then max out W. But after testing it several games myself, I did realize that it is actually better to um, get that second point of E. It does actually do some kind of difference. So... Um, that's why I have the second point here of E, and now we're going to be maxing out W just as regular Dr. Repulsor. And once again, Ganks is key to this hero, so I need to make sure to get a gank soon. Mageman is free farming top, and of course Mageman is a great hero. Uh, great hero for uh, against Dr. Repulsor, so I'm going to ignore this guy if he keeps following me. Uh, let's see here if we can kill top. So he has steamers and uh, sustainers. So he's really farmed. I really want to get a kill now. Um, what about bottom? Yeah, we're gonna go bottom here. We're gonna pick up another TP and a smoke, and keep on working towards our icon of the goddess. But yeah, right now uh, only one hero impact. So let's make sure that we do some more. I'm gonna fly in and grip and use summon right away. Okay. Oh, he's okay. Good shit. Oh, can we kill two? Yeah, sure. I mean, I have DD. Oh, we can still go more, we can still go more, there's one here. Oh! I think I just killed myself. Serial killer. <laughs> Oh god, oh god. I'm actually gonna kill myself here, otherwise I might die to creeps or something. I'm gonna p pick up glowstone and just kill myself. It's gonna be faster back to base anyway. <coughs> it's a uh, 30 second respawn. Yeah, it would have been pretty much the same timer going back to base and just killing myself here. So I'm not gonna waste any time, just gonna kill myself. Let's see, 20, yeah, 20 seconds, 25, would maybe to go back to base. So that's worth it. Didn't lose any gold as I bought the glowstone, so. Didn't lose any gold at all. Uh, they have a triple ancients. If we can pick up a ward here, that would be great. So we don't let Mage Brain take triple. That would be really bad for us. I'm gonna TP bottom here as soon with my newly picked up glowstone. And uh, yeah, we got we've been involved in four kills now by 11 minutes. We are currently 330 GPM, so we're doing pretty pretty well. Pretty well. Gonna keep up, try and have as much impact as possible. Uh, let's TP bottom here before. I think I can kill Rhapsody here, even though. Nah, fuck it. We're not gonna go for it. We just greeted already, so I think it's uh, it's time to chill on the greed here. I mean, I know I'm a greedy player, but there's a limit to everyone, you know. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna keep up the stacks here. Sadly, there's wild. Can you uh, jungle for a bit? There are only wild hunters here, so if you can, if you can kill them, that would be really helpful. I can't really jungle wild hunters. Now, uh. If you do get wild hunters in the jungle, like this here, you, a lot of a lot of people think that Doctor is very reliant on uh, on camps, but you really aren't. Like, I've played this a million times now, and those games where you just have a lot of wild hunters, you just make sure you stack the hard camp, stack the hard camp, stack the easy camp, and that's really all you need to do. Like, it's it's really really simple to be honest. To even if there's wild hunters, just make like utilize your hero somewhere else. Your hero isn't a a one-way thing where you can't really... Oh, fuck. One of your is under attack. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion tower. <laughs> Ultimate warrior. Good shit, boys. Mm. That's getting close to our icon here with 360 GPM. Wait, what? What happened to my TP? Are are you kidding? Can you cut down this tree, please? They're running right in front of me. Okay, you're gonna need to. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? I didn't cancel my TP. What happened? Can someone tell me what happened? Well, actually, you can, because I'm not live streaming. I'm recording the video offline. I honestly have no idea what happened there. Oh, well. go back to base. Really close to. Yeah, we really need a word in here, guys. Like, we don't want to like let him get. Um, because he has his cleaver. Like, probably any second here now. So yeah, we're gonna pick up another TP, we got our smoke ready, so we gotta make sure to get some uh, more kills here, just keep up uh, the roams, keep up the ganks, use Veiled Rot, just go through wards, like, if you see someone ward, like, if I see him ward here, buy a Veiled Rot and go through it. 
And that's how you counter the wards. You buy a Veiled Rot, and if you don't have a counter ward, just run through it. They will never expect it. Alright, so I'm gonna go towards the next camp here and just keep up the stacks. Stack the easy camp, please. Gonna stack the hard camp, and then we have our icon. I kinda wanna go back to base and like split into my icon, but I'm not sure if that is worth it. We'll see. Alright. I kind of want to dive mid, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> uh, ward. One of your structures is under attack. All right, so we got our icon. I really want to go back. Um, let's see here. I just notice it's fine. Go stun him. I got, I got peek, you know. Stun him. I don't have any combo. Legendary. Or you can not stun him and allow us to kill Pebbles as well. No, uh, do you want to go Dare Engines? Not yet. I think I want to finish my icon first. I think I can take them. Uh, kill up here, kill up here. Unless this guy doesn't want to stun again. Like, you, you never know. Oh, he actually used it. <laughs> that was a great ulti. I like this guy. He's going shroud even. All right, so I was unlucky enough to get a troll here and my uh, in my game, but hey, what to do? So we do pick up our icon now. Gonna be picking up that grave locket as well. Gonna start smoking towards the top. See if I can get a kill there. Pick up yet another smoke. As there's five in the shop, and you don't want it to. You don't want there to be five in the shop. You always want to buy a veiled rod so they can like respawn and get more. And you don't even have to use it until later, you know. We're gonna run top here, but yeah. So striders into post haste. We will be going post haste eventually because it's really important to just keep up the roam uh, when you're playing this kind of role where you won't be showing a lot and you will just be farming jungle most of the time. Oh, he just blinked in. Do I have enough damage? Thousand. I can tape in. You go. No, I don't. It's freaking mage pin. Let's blink up in five push, seconds uh, again. Ooh! Come top then and we clear their stacks. Me. I didn't know they had stacks. That's pretty good. Because he just finished his cleaver. We do not want him to pick up all the stacks now. He might be on top of this here. Yeah, oh, he, he is. Wait, you kill all of them? Yeah. Well, that's good. Fair enough. Right, it looks like they don't have any other stacks here. Mm -mm. They're coming for me. Blink on pebbles. Yeah, blink on pebbles. Can you bait mid? I can keep it. I can keep it. That's not baiting mid. That's pushing out the wave. <laughs> Wait, <I got> it. <laughs> but you have blink. It might be better to bait someone else. Can you bait fine? Mm. Or, or we just kill this guy. Good shit. Gonna make sure to drop my icon and my grave locket, of course, just like I did in the other D Dr. Pulse Educational, to make sure I get as much region as possible. And when I pick these items up, I'll be full mana again. <coughs> but yeah, we can. Uh, if this game ends early, which I really don't think it should, because that Mage Pain. They shouldn't concede when their Mage Pain is that farmed. But. Uh, I can go into uh, Hellborn and show you guys the Hellborn rotation, which is also pretty simple. Uh, and I can't really... Yeah, well, yeah, I can do that, I can do that. I like that. So I can pick up Postis here now, or I can go Grimmar, or I can go Hellflower, it's all up to you, really. I love Icon Grimmar combo and Doctor, I think it's incredibly strong. But I also think that Hellflower in this game is really good against both Bubbles and Mage Train. And I think that that could have a huge impact, so I kind of want to go Hellflower as well. It's hard, a hard decision to make, but I think it's gonna be a health line. Yeah. Well, you can rotate mid. Maybe we can find some kills. I wanna be part of kills too. Be he here. Savage sick. Nemesis. Mage Prince Yep. I'm gonna be careful. Do we have to, I don't have any more stacks, right? I think this is a game where I can be allowed to greed and go for the Grimmar, even though I really want a Hellflower against this team. But I'm gonna go the Hellflower route because I, that's what I would recommend for you guys. Because if you do go the Grimmar route, it's very important that you actually utilize the Grimmar <coughs> in terms of farming capabilities and roaming around and stuff and getting kills. And, I and the Hellflower build is way easier to pull off. So I think I'm gonna go the Hellflower post here. As it's easier to pull off and. 
better for the overall community and probably a better as an educational than. But yeah, oh, okay. Oh god. Oh my god. I cannot go in, dude. Uh, no. I'm gonna leave you. Bye, my friend. So we're gonna pick up the post haste here, and now we're gonna go to. Ooh, that is another mage pain. Great. And then we're gonna go hellflower here. So picking up the early post haste because I feel like I'm playing. Uh, well, it's a very simple uh, reason, really. They're I'm playing as double supports, and Doctor Pulse Race. I hear that I can fly and kill a support straight away, really, really easy. So uh, uh, early post haste against double support is very good. So uh, that's why I decided to pick it up early, and I would have done this in a real game as well. I have been playing uh, Jungle Doctor in competitive a couple of games, and I've been very successful with it there as well. Uh, usually go to Grimmar route there, but regardless, just explaining why I went the early post haste. Who was that about me? That was Pebbles, right? Yeah, it was. I can almost fly the entire way now here, but I don't want to. Uh, if he stuns him, I'll fly. Otherwise, I won't. Five kills, stud. Domination. All right, that's another kill. Nemesis. Great. Gonna keep working towards that Hellflower. And after Hellflower, like, you have to keep in mind, like, Doctor Jungle is not that much different from a regular Doctor. Like, after after the Jungle phase and after the incredible roaming potential, which is the most important thing about Doctor Jungle, <coughs> uh, you want to. Um, it's it's pretty much the same thing. You get you get shrunken. You get you get you get the normal things really. Like, there's there's nothing really different between besides besides that. Is he gonna go? <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised here if this behemoth keeps my ball and refuses to give it back, um, but we'll see. If he's a nice guy or not. Which, he really seems to be trolling, but he might not be. I might just be too tired to realize whether or not he's trolling or not. But yeah, I think we talked about the rotations, we talked about a little bit about Doctor and what you want to do in the jungle role. It looks like this is going to be another early, like... I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, this is the fifth game of today. I've been trying to record this video since 1 a.m. And I keep getting early games. Like, I keep just destroying the game. So, and th this is honestly the best game so far in terms of educational, because I've been able to really show what a er doctor can do from the jungle, like, early. So, regardless of what, I'm going to be uploading this game. And uh, I'm sorry if you wanted to see a little bit of a longer game, but I've tried, I really have, to, like, get, like, a really nice and intense game. But most of my doctor games really are stomps. And, uh... Regardless of bracket, so sadly, them? oh god, I'm gonna have TP bottom here. Massacre, serial killer. Bonafide badass. I won't have enough. Well, I can still dive actually. Pebbles is yeah. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. Champion of newer. Right, good shit. All right, so we do end up on 445 GPM, and uh, yeah. 445 GPM, I hope you learned a little bit about Doctor Rotation and Jungle. I will actually go straight into a practice game here. Give me one second. One second. Uh, oh shit. What the hell? I misclicked. Yep. Let me go into a practice game here really quick. And I'll show you fast how... Um, wait. All right. How do I choose practice again? Jesus Christ. I need to press create game. Why can't I create game? Am I in create game? No. What? I'm getting confused here. Public games. Craig. Oh, okay. Practice. I'm going to go into the Hellborn jungle really fast and show you guys what we can do. We'll jungle to level 6, and then after that we'll end the video. So uh, uh, stay behind. I'll be right into a new game here. I will sadly not be able to cut it, however. But yeah. So I will explain it a little bit fast again on what you want to be doing here. Let's get into Doctor. Doctor Bulbasaur. Bam, ba -dum, ba -dum. Let's get it on. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we're going to start off operating the curve because it would be upgraded normally. Then we're going to buy until we only have balls. So once again, guys, do not buy your balls straight away. You're going to do what I'm doing right now. You're going to run over here. Make sure you check and you're going to ask your teammate to check up here as well as checking here so that you can see if they ward your camps or not. 
if they do ward your camps, guys, if they do ward your camps, this is the item build you want to be doing. You're going to be buying one rev ward or two even, maybe, and you'll just be... Either you can just, like, not buy anything and go straight for bottle, or you can buy one uh, Mark of the Novice and two mana potions and runes of the Blight and just tank it a little bit and still do the stacking stuff. But uh, when, I, when I have to counter ward camps, I normally just not buy anything. I normally... Because I normally see how many wards they have when they run in to counter ward my camp, and... Um, after that, I just buy uh, one rev ward, and then I kill one one of my stacks or the medium here, and then I buy my bottle. So normally, you just go bottle straight away. Like I've tried all builds, and bottle first really is the best if you're allowed to do it. But most people really don't block camps against Dark to Jungle. Maybe because they don't expect it. Maybe for some other reason. But regardless. So anyway, now I have no trees cut down as you can see, and the rotation is still the same. We're gonna start off with the medium camp, kill it outside, stack easy, stack hard, and it's easier on Hellborn. Because you don't have this long way you have to walk up and around like you have to do in Legion. So, let's see here. We do end up getting Ogres, which is a good starting camp. So, we were lucky about this one. I'm gonna kill this outside. Make sure that you make the stack here, because that is really key to everything. Make the goddamn stacks, boys. Make the goddamn stacks. Alright, running up here. You're gonna be placing my poop up here. Make sure that you place your poop properly so they run into it and don't block the camp. So we're going to run up here, and they're going to run into it and not block it. So uh, let's see here what we get from the left. Maybe Wild Hunters. Yep, so we got Wild Hunters there. And then we're going to kill the Easy Camp. <laughs> I actually should have bottled up before I ran into the Easy Camp, but I'm stupid. So that's great. Now we're going to have to run out and waste time. God damn it. Once again, stacking is everything, guys. So if you have a double short lane, make sure to ask your support. Like... It will never hurt asking, like, if they say no, then sure, like, what can you do about it, but always ask if they can stack the hard camp for you, like, hard camps is the key to this hero, kiting hard camps, and I've been lucky here, no skeleton kings, skeleton kings really are a pain in the ass, guys, they're a pain in the ass, so, yeah, hard camps, ask your team, go for it, and once again, if you see that their mid hero is moving towards the top rune or their suicide, and you're really low, sometimes you're low depending on the camps you get, don't go for the rune, run back to base, it's fine, and it is actually worth just stacking it instead of like going, uh, instead of going straight back to base, it is worth it, so always triple that before you go back to base. But we're gonna go for the rune here because we are in practice mode and there's no enemies of course, then we're gonna kill the easy camp, and then we're gonna go towards the hard camp. So we've got the refreshment, that obviously sucks because we want the real deal. Now I can either go here and start One hitting this, is under but it is not a double or a triple stack. And what, like I've been saying guys, stacks is everything, so we're not going to go for this. We're going to go for the hard camp, queue it three times, and then run back to base. That's one. Two. And then boom. Three. And just hit it last time as well. Boom. Take that. Beach. And we're going to go back to base, pick up our boots, and run back to the hard camp. So now I'm level two by three minutes, which is obviously not something that you normally would see or normally would think is good, but it's fine because I do have the stacks here, which is what is important. Picking up the boots. And we'll be recovering just in time. As soon as I'm back to this hard camp, I'm going to hit instant level four. And then we're level four by three minutes 30. And then, whoa, wow, it's suddenly good again. So once again, keep that in mind. Now, normally, really, like, your support will stack for you. Regardless of bracket, they will most likely stack this camp. So this should be doubled or tripled by now, which is really important in what you're trying to do. So keep that in mind. We're going to be stacking the East Camp here next. We did get Wild Hunters, which does suck. So this is wh what I talked about in my other game, that if you do get Wild Hunters, you want to make sure that you're very active or do something while you're, like, during the downtime where you can't really do anything because of the Wild Hunters. So make sure you do something. Uh, while you have these wild hunters. What we're going to be doing here is just stacking the easy camp. But I would like for you, if you could, um, like, go over to the hard camp here, or if you could uh, gank mid. Like, just try and do make something happen while you have the um, the ability to, because the wild hunters really are a pain in the ass. But so is the skeleton kings, so keep that in mind. And we're going to be sending out our striders here, as well as uh, two points here for our mana ring, or sorry, one. Going to be picking up the top rune again, and... Th this, like, you, you'll you be able to go to the top rune pretty much every game. Sadly, there's no rune here now, obviously, because I took the bottom one. Attack. So I'm going to cheat here now, because we would actually have gotten that rune in real life. In real life. In a real <laughs> game is what I mean. Uh, so let's pick up, pick up this here. So this is, like, in a worst-case scenario, because in a real game, you are, like, really, trust me, you will be able to get those stacks. So this is kind of like a worst-case scenario where 
you, you're not getting any stacks, you got Wild Hunters in your medium, that really sucks for you. And uh, you're gonna have to go back to base once again here as you can see. And I'm level 5 by <coughs> by uh, four and a half minutes, which is really not where you want to be, but it's not that bad. And I'm already going to be, like, spending the gold wisely is a little bit of a key as well. Like, if you have 100 gold over, just buy, buy the Veiled Rod or buy the TP. I'm going to be buying a Veiled Rod here because I'm, gonna, I'm always preparing for that level 6. When you get to level 6, that's when the enemy team has to be scared. They're like, oh shit, their doctor is level 6. Gotta be careful, he's not showing and he never will show because you're a Dr. Jungle, remember? And keep that in mind. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be hitting level 6 and 270, 280 GPM here by f 6 minutes. Which is totally fine, like I said, just try and never get level 6 later but than 6 minutes. 6 minutes is fine, One and like like I said, attack. as long as you, oh shit, as long as you ask for stacks and stuff like that, you'll be able to just recover even more, and whenever you're, n get, like, when you're ganking, maybe you gank top and you start to run back to base, stack the camp on the way home, just keep up the stacks, and just keep up what you're doing. It's very, very important. And here we go, we're gonna be hitting my level 6 here, gonna be hitting the Wild Hunters, of course, and... If you start off by Wild Hunters at the camp number one, by the way, if when you walk in here you have Wild Hunters straight away, then what you do is you start by hit, like hitting down one of the Wild Hunters and then going over and making the stack. So you just kill them slowly because you do want to get rid of them as fast as possible. Anyway here, uh, by six minutes we are level six and a half, 280 GPM, and now we have a smoke, we can go back to base, we can TP, we can literally do anything we want to do here. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys learned something from this uh, uh, from this educational. If you want to check, if you're from Garena and you want to check out good doctor players, I definitely recommend Bad Bad T uh, said with a apostrophe up there. Uh, he was one of the players that I looked into the most. I also looked into some other names that I don't remember right now that Canon Pang helped me. So shout out to Canon Pang from D Dog for sending me replays of other uh, Doctor Jungle players. Also checked out H. Paul in NAAU, who is a regular Dr. Jungle player. I've done a lot of research, and that's why I ended up becoming quite decent at uh, Dr. Jungling. But I can still improve. I still don't think that I am, I am as good as I want to be with this uh, uh, with Jungling Doctor. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed. And any feedback, please leave down below in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed my educational series, just as always. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.